do you get road rage? Have a poor diet? Or are you unproductive at work? Maybe that's because you're not getting enough rest. According to the Centers for Disease Control, about 70 million Americans suffer from chronic sleep problems. Sleep deprivation is associated with injuries, chronic diseases, mental illnesses, and a poor quality of life. And while napping doesn't make up for lack of sleep, it can drastically improve your mood and alertness to help you get through the day. You don't have enough nap. Any little thing, I take you off. You know, get aggravated, you know, like road rage, yeah. It will get you aggravated. So I really suggest everybody take a nap every now and then. It means it's like a like cat nap. Thad Golden is a sleep expert in Horry County. He says with how our bodies are programmed, most everyone becomes tired at some point in the day. The Europeans for thousands of years have recognized that there's this lull in the circadian rhythms. And so they close their shops, they go home, they have lunch, they take a nap, and then they come and open their shops and stay open until the evening time. And that's probably much more physiologic than what we do, which is have another coffee or a Red Bull and just try and power through and make it through the day. Um, and then by 5 o'clock with, you know, 5 or 6 o'clock, we're exhausted. Golden says studies have shown that the hour after lunch is the least productive hour during the workday. There have been studies where companies have allowed people to have a nap period after lunch um, and they've shown that the hour after that nap period is the most productive. He says naps are critical to help increase alertness, performance at work, and overall mood. He says food plays a role too. After we obviously blood supply increases to the uh, intestines to help digest our food and, and we get sleepy because of that. Um, and somewhat to what we eat, um, you know, a bigger meal, um, more carbohydrates tend to make us sleepier than smaller meals or higher protein. But scheduled napping in the workplace isn't the norm, but don't give up yet. One thing you can do to ensure you get a nap in is head to your car during your lunch break. If you sleep for 20, 30 minutes, you'll be refreshed for hours afterwards. Anthony Brown says he takes naps during his lunch hour every day. I mean, it will help you out big time. Even 10, 15 minute nap will really be, you know, essential to your body. And how long you nap is crucial. Make it no longer than 45 minutes. If you nap for an hour or two, you wake up and you're almost more tired than you were when you started. And now you've paid back too much sleep debt, so you're not going to sleep as well that night. Golden also suggests turning off all technology to help ensure nothing gets in the way of some shut-eye. Reporting in Horry County, Courtney Griffin, WPDE News Channel 15.